In today's video, I will show you how to update the firmware and to get your actual hot end temperature to heat up to 295 degrees C. Hello makers, Maki here of 3 Hub, and today I will show you how to recompile the firmware to get your hot end temperature to reach 295 degrees C. And once again, I would like to acknowledge Miguel Risco Castillo for the source file. This firmware update is suitable for 3D printers with direct drive extruder that can handle 300 degrees C. If your 3D printer is not equipped with high temp extruder, you don't need to do this. Before we start, we need a few things for this setup. Number one is Visual Studio Code for compiling, the source code, SD card for flashing the main board, and I connected my 3D printer to Octoprint. If you don't have Octoprint, you can also use Fronterface Terminal. And all the download links will be in the description below. Go to Miguel Castillo GitHub page. We need these two files. So click and download those files. I already done it. So do the same on the special configuration and extract them. Once extracted, open the special configuration folder and look for your 3D printer model. In my case, it's Ender 3S1 F1. Click on it and copy these files. Copy. Open up the Ender 3 firmware folder. Open up Marlin and paste the file here. It will ask you if you replace. Click yes. Open up your Visual Studio code. If you don't have this icon, this alien face and the M, go to your extension and type in platform IO and auto build, build Marlin and install it. So once you have installed those extension, open the folder that we've extracted. Select folder. Once loaded, open up Marlin and do, go to configuration.h and scroll down to max temp setting change everything to 300 and then click the auto bid marlin click the hammer for my 3D printer, it's the top one, and then click Build. Once it's finished, click this folder. This will take you to where the bin pile is saved and then save it to your SD card. Insert your SD card to your 3D printer and turn on the machine. After the main board has been flushed, this will only take the hot end temp to 285 degrees C because of 15 degree overshoot. To set the maximum hot end temperature to 295, we need to send this command over Octoprint. On your Octoprint, go to your terminal and send this command. Click send. Now we can see if the hot end temp can go up to 295 degrees.
Dat ze wachten om ten. I did try setting the max temp to 300, but the max temp error keeps kicking in at 299. That's why I decided to limit the temp to 295. At this temperature, most high temp filament can be printed. And once again, if you don't have a proper hardware for this setup, you don't need to do it. And even if you do, do it at your own risk. In some cases, this won't work for you. If you like this content, you might want to click subscribe and notification bell to keep you updated on what's coming up. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.